Christmas in June. It's my favorite time of the year because it's E3. Uh, this year, it was a little different because it was actually open to the public. Uh, they were selling tickets. so Is that why it was so busy? I saw some like Snapchat stories that oh, people no, no, had followed. No, it was and always it was busy like, regardless. Yeah. Um, but it seemed more year, busy. It seemed yeah. crazy. Like there was. Oh, it's always been crazy. That's, if you ever watch cool. any of the the people that do, doing the interviews and stuff in the background, all you see is just so press. What was it before? Invite only. A press. Oh, press. Okay. Yeah. So well, you had to have press cred- credentials. So you know, as long as you could pass yourself off as press, press you can yeah. get tickets to. Oh, okay. Uh, so it, it it goes on every year. Um, uh, did you watch it? Did yeah, you watch I, anything? I watched with a couple of like short clips, trailers about like the uh, the Mario game. Yep. What is it called? Mario Odyssey or something? Yeah. And Mario can throw his hat on people and, and possess them. P- possess them. Yeah. Um, you know, it's Mario. Yeah. I'm still old school Mario. I like Mario One, where you just got the 2D and you're just bouncing. B A B A B run A jump. I I love that. Um. I'm I'm okay with Mario like three Super Mario Brothers yep. three where you can do the little fly thing, but the rest of them I I'm not a very big gamer because um, <laughs> no, they're not. too complicated. They just I just like simplicity. I can't figure out all these buttons, but uh, you know I, it's cool. Like I want to play a Switch. I want to play the new Nintendo Switch. Mm. I know that's old news. I get it. That was so last year. No. I, okay. <laughs> um, I, I, Nintendo has their cult following. People are always going to buy Nintendo because it's Nintendo. So I get it. You know, every every time a new system comes out, it's always Mario Kart, uh, Zelda, Mario. Mario Kart's one of the greatest games because no, uh, you can play it with like you play it with your agree. friends. Mario Kart and then yeah. and, and Smash Brothers. It's the whole reason why uh, this has been able to. Then you got that one dick who who's like the greatest of Mario Kart racer of all time on like when you play online and this one you got these all these people bunched up over here and then you got this one person over here and you're like really. Why you gotta take it so seriously, man? <laughs> really, it has to be fun for everybody. But you know, but n- Nintendo wasn't that bad. Like I, I watched every aspect of it. I know it was I watched all the, the, the I conferences. Was yeah, I watched all the conferences um, from the the, uh, the big three plus all the developers. Um, I devour this stuff every year. It, it occupies like entire week for me. You know, it's. Four or five hours a night just watching this stuff, learning this stuff because you know it's that time of year where all the new games yeah. are supposed to be announced. Now, so uh, at, at, after everything, it's always the big thing. Oh, who won? Well, we all win. Yeah, we, we all win. do. Yeah, and I like that one better. Every year, everybody says Sony wins. It's like, oh, they have better games. They have better games. It's like what I find with Sony, and this pisses me off every single year, is Sony tells you about the games that are coming out in the next two to three years. Yeah, not the next year. This year, um, they talked about uh, Days Gone, God of War, Detroit uh, Human, um, and the Spider-Man, and uh, Uncharted. So five major games, all of them were talked about last year. Oh, so it was just like a repeat? And here's the thing. Um... Uh, none of them are coming out in 2017. Hmm. So it says 2018. So is that spring before next E3 or after next E3 for the you next holiday season? So. You know what pisses me off about presentations and stuff like that when you when you see new games and you see commercials for games on television and stuff like that? Um, like It's all like game-engineered footage. It's not actual ah. gameplay footage, and and when I like, and I do it, it, it happens to on my telephone. I'll see a game, and I'm like, oh, that looks cool, and I'll download it, and it'll be completely not what you know. Oh what I'm yeah, yeah. And I hate that, and and that has always been a big complaint about E3 is that, you know they always give you this engineered Stop footage. Stop making these no okay. show us games now. Right? Now here's the thing: E3 has listened to critics like that, and they tend to show a lot more gameplay instead of cutscenes. So there's always a little bit more of the live demo don't, aspect. Don't give to me it. the but don't give me the guy who knows how to play the game. 
get somebody up there like myself or like him. Get a couple, like, for no, example, not, but, not, not us in particular, but two guys like us, say a non-gamer and a gamer, and have them come play your game. Do a live demonstration for people like that to see if it's fun and interactive. and Because that's the true test to game dialogue. No, okay, and, and but that's what, okay, presentations are difficult. You, yeah, you, you, no, have, to, you have to express a point. Yeah, it's now, like the a, whole reason sure. why they have everything on the floor is for, uh, well, because they open it up so everybody can go onto the floor and they can actually play yeah. these games I themselves. Heard it was like a, like a three-hour lineup for Mario. Oh, psh, or something silly easily. Like the, 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 no way. It is, when you go there, you're playing the lineup game. Yeah. That is the game you're going to play lineup, the most that's, like, that's what you yeah, do exactly. the day. So, anything and everything there. So, you know, okay, so... Again, Sony does, like last year, five major games, and, uh, you know, this year they showed off the same five major games, but more gameplay. And they also teased uh, The Shadow of Colossus. A remake is coming out for the, for the PS4. And it's like, well, you know what? They already had two, like the Shadow on PS2 and the Shadow Remastered on PS3. But that's so what they do now. So this is the third time this game has been released. But that's what they do now. And then it's like, oh, people are like, oh, uh, uh, you know, PlayStation One. It's like, no, no, PlayStation never wins. I don't, I don't know how people. So what did Xbox in. come at? What did, what did they counterpunch with? Now, okay, Xbox is always first. Okay, uh, it's always before Sony. Um, now, Xbox, it almost seemed last year it was big excitement, uh, you know, big games. This year, it almost <laughs> seemed like they gave up. Um. Uh, um there was no big games announced uh, for Xbox, so no Xbox exclusive type games. So you know nothing. So nothing exciting there. Uh, but uh, you know one thing that was lacking was VR. Uh, PlayStation talked about VR and um, uh, Ubisoft, um, Activision. Uh, they all talked. And Bethesda. They all talked about VR, but Microsoft did not, which was kind of weird. Um, but they're but, coming out with a new system, right? Um, the Xbox Scorpio, which is called the Xbox X now. Yeah. Yeah, they should really Is it called the it. Xbox One X? or just One X, Xbox? yes. Yeah. Sorry, Xbox One X. You know, um, uh, I think the there most, was... It's supposed to be the most powerful console, but until, you know, well, people yeah. of course get to touch it, et cetera, et cetera. Somebody it's, hacks it or jailbreaks it or whatever. Uh, well, the thing is, it's a 4K type box, right? In which case, you need a 4K TV. It's the new... E- exactly. So, there's a lot of money involved in getting the, the, the Xbox yeah. One X. So, it's a wait and see type game. But the big things for Xbox was Minecraft uh, is going to be cross-play with everything except for Sony. So, what you're going to be able everything? to play your Xbox One Minecraft uh-huh. with iOS. people on Switch. Oh, Apple, yeah, yeah, Android. you can do that now. Yeah, but through Apple, anyways, I know that. Okay, but no, with everybody like Nintendo. Uh, oh yeah, new Nintendo Apple, was getting it. That's new. Um, that's cool. Uh, placed or not play, but not PlayStation or and PC, right? So they're all going to be able to play together on this big giant One open big community. That's yeah, cool. exactly. That's neat. Um, I think Minecraft is a pretty cool game. Imagine developing a game like that where. Like you're not following a story. No, nope. you're just out there doing whatever. Mm-hmm. Like that, those type of games must be the hardest type to develop because it's it's so open and it's so just um, subjected to subjective to individual creativity that to be able to to come up with and make a game that can compute that is amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. Like and to have everything is, that it has, yeah. And and so Minecraft simple. is now getting a graphic. Enhancement oh. to the whole thing. Oh, that's cool. Yes. So my son really likes Minecraft. It, it's Minecraft. it's going to be very very interesting, my especially for those to play too. Yeah, for those people who like to play Minecraft. Now, um, uh, they, they showed off games. They showed off Assassin's Creed, which took a two year br- break, which was. Needed. I'm still playing the uh, Watch Wars or the Black something. Black Flag. Yeah, I yeah. still play that one every once. Um, but they're going to Egypt, and I was like, oh, that that. That could be so cool, and they showed off game gameplay. Oh, no, no, gameplay? No, 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 every year they show off gameplay now. Oh. Now, what I find with Xbox is all the games that they show, they make a point of saying all these games are available this year. Oh, good, right? Well, um, you're 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 kind of a, like a you love the Xbox, right? You're I'm a, always, yeah. you're, you're I'm a, an Xbox yeah, fan, so yeah, yeah I'm always so. going to come across as biased. But you know, if you look at it from, I can admit. 
that PlayStation has won some E3s. You know, there was a... Four years ago, PlayStation had a way better presentation than Xbox. Just blew Xbox out of the water. Like, I was a... I was so ashamed to be an Xbox fan at that point in time, going, Really? You know what you the guys good thing shit the bed. You know what the good thing about like video games and, and gaming and stuff like that? Um, I find that unlike a lot of other um, like businesses, there seems to be more competition in video games than in a whole like you have like um, with in like cell phones you have like um, Apple and Android, you have the big two. Mm-hmm. And then the, it's a huge drop off to the next one, but video games you have like a almost a big three, mm-hmm. where and and that's what makes it you know you got like Nintendo. Well, okay, Nintendo is kind of in third place. Well, you can admit that, right? Uh, well, okay, we'll, we'll actually go. Uh, uh, the big three are PC, I guess the Xbox, Xbox, and Sony, and then Nintendo is still in the running. But definitely fourth. Okay, but so so you got four major major components to this, and that creates good competition because if you have two, they can just kind of go, oh, we're just going to play off each other. Oh, for when sure. When you have three and four, these there's wild cards because it's like, oh, great. Yeah, in everything that goes on, Nintendo may not have the biggest showing when it comes to E3, but they still manage to show off things that get people excited. Like they they have they, more. they they announced uh, Metroid Prime Four. Which is a huge, huge deal, and because they have cult followings. Like, yeah, exactly. They all and here's the thing: followings. both Sony and Nintendo, uh, they didn't really announce too many new things, but they announced DLC, which has never, ever been a big What's deal. DLC, the downloadable content. Mm. So for Nintendo as, has, uh, has it for a while. Like, um, like well, no, no, everybody has DLC, but no. nobody's ever in a in a conference mentioned no. it as a highlight. So Nintendo says, "Hey, there's going to be DLC for uh, Legend of Zelda." And Sony said there's going to be a DLC for um, uh, Horizon Dawn. Didn't Nintendo announce, maybe they didn't do it at E3, but didn't they just come out with something where it's like a you pay one price, a subscription, and you can play all Nintendo titles or something like that? Uh, I don't know about Nintendo, but uh, Xbox and PlayStation. Xbox just started doing that. PlayStation's had that for a few months. I thought Nintendo announced something like that. Um, Maybe I'm mistaken. No, no. Okay, so, so again, Sony didn't, I don't think Sony really announced anything really big. Um, but Nintendo, the cross-platform, uh, no, not Nintendo, Xbox, the cro- pl- cross-platform uh, Minecraft Play, and they are going to be backwards compatible original Xbox games. Now, well, I think they, they, they probably took some heat. Both companies probably took some heat for making their consoles not backwards compatible. Because a lot of people um, like playing old school games every once in a while. Exactly. And uh, the, the 360 suffered greatly because of it. Um, uh, there was a big backlash because of the whole thing. Yeah. Like, There's a whole meltdown in the industry about it. But, uh, you know, th- 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 this is a huge thing. Because you're going to be able to literally bring... And I still be have some original Xbox games in my shelf that I'm going to pull out and go, this better be next. <laughs> um, but... Here is a big thing for um, for me because uh, this whole E three was actually rather disappointing for me. Um, there was nothing big and exciting, but there was one little redeeming aspect to it. Um, Star Wars Battlefront uh, came out on the Xbox One uh, two years ago, and it was supposed to be a big deal, right? And they kind of really dropped the ball. On the whole thing, mm-hmm. like it was executed poorly. Um, there was no single player campaign. The whole thing. That's what I thought when I was playing it. I couldn't just go on my own. No, I, it, and it was it, it was exactly. I now, could only play a small amount because I didn't have the the live thing at the time. Yeah, and I yeah. couldn't play. I was like, because I bored it from because I'm like, I want to check it out, right? And I'm like, well, how come I can't do anything? So right there, that's a huge disappointment. Now I don't want to get the game because I can't do anything. Exactly. Um, now, the, they shortly thereafter, you know, it came out that it's like, oh yeah, we're going to be working on a Star Wars Battlefront 2. And I said, fuck you guys. You know, this one, first one was so horrible that there's no way I'm going to buy it. Well, um... But wait! Yeah. <laughs> e3, um, uh, EA uh, did a huge production on Star Wars Battlefront 4. They showed off an entire map of 40... Uh, uh, 20, on, 20 versus 20 uh, live um, multiplayer battle 
during the conference. Mm-hmm. They, they, this is what it looks like. This is what's going to happen. And uh, they showed off everything. Bells and whistles to the whole thing. And my God, does it look beautiful. Um, it's good. Space battles are back, which was a huge, uh, another huge disappointment in the original. Um, space battles are back. When I play a game, like when I play a game, something like that, say like a Battlefront, I want to be able to, I want to be able to follow the story, yes, but at times I want to be able to just go do my own thing. Yep. You know what I mean? You kind of want the story, but the Minecraft aspect into it, where I could just kind of go off and do my own thing and create my own story. I know that would probably be impossible to to do, because it would be hard to, like, the computing power or whatever the hell would be involved in that would be, like, huge. So, but, you know, not being a gamer myself, like, I just, I need to be grabbed by a game. If I'm not grabbed by a game, then I'm just like, meh, go away. You know, I've tried to play many games. I've tried to play Sniper Elite, Call of Duty. I played the Battlefront, and I, I really wanted to play Battlefront because I was like, cool, I get, like, attack ad ads and all that shit. And it was just like, this is absolutely horrible. I can't know. I can only do one mission, and I can't even do that completely because I don't have this part. And it's like, well, whatever. Yeah, it, it, I'm a little excited for Battlefront 2. Uh, unfortunately, I will probably buy it simply because this is what Battlefield... It, it should have been. This is what it, it should have been. There's going to be a single-player campaign to the whole thing. It, it, it looks good. It looks exciting. Um, Let's hope it lives up to the hype. I Yes, that's always the big thing, is whether or not games live up to the hype. I'm still hype. waiting for EA Sports to pull their head out of their ass, partner with the CFL, and make it a CFL football game. It's probably never yeah, happen, I know. Or a curling game. I well, love a really good curling one game. One thing that's always bothered me about sports games is how there's always a new release every year. I know, but they're the same game. And that's and, and there's minimal, minimal, that's minimal what, changes to it. Now, what I personally think they should do is one game, two or three years. They just have uh, you pay five bucks, you get the new yeah, roster, roster set, yeah, the new rosters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then the the second or third year later, they come out with a new game, bet better everything, and then they. I know, think it should just be here's a base game, so you buy NHL. Here's the base game, and every year you pay ten bucks and you get the new stuff. Yeah, you get like they. Have, I know they have updated rosters throughout the year, but you know most people play with their own rosters anyways. They make stupid trades and stuff like that. But you know, um, like I, said, I don't play many video games, but I, if CFL came out, I would buy a CFL game because it's CFL, and a curling, I would buy a curling game because it's curling. You know, but I'm more partial to Nintendo because I like the the family games and the fun games like that. I'm not a big. I, I get it, and like. like Part of the appeal of Nintendo is Nintendo is for the family. I wish I could whereas, play like Call of Duty because I think those those games look cool. But I go and play them, and I just get frustrated because they're, yeah, they're too realistic <laughs> for me. Like because uh, I I try to shoot somebody, and I'm like I can't even aim properly. So apparently my my dexterity between hands is not very good. But for those gamers out there, I'm glad that they they're coming out with games and they're continually advancing and I think that that helps that having four well uh, three major and one not so yeah okay. it, it whatever happens is like everybody wins because there's a Absolutely. lot of competition there's a lot of uh, one upmanship yeah and this is actually really good for the industry and I enjoy uh, watching it and yeah. I'm also really glad that nobody announced new consoles Oh, that's always the dread. Is like, oh, new console generation. Yeah. It's like, no, we don't need a new ge- yeah. generation. And obviously, one. you do have, um, you still on on the low, very much lower, and you have like the iOS and Android um, games and applications that you know still do factor into gaming a little bit, but not as much towards that kind of stuff. Obviously, the number one thing is always going to be PC gaming. PC gaming, in my mind, is always going to be number one because they're so far advanced with the technology and the computing power. When yeah. you see a PC game, it's like... Psh. Oh, yeah, it is hands and fists above. But You're just like, also, what the hell? Unfortunately, PCs are also really expensive. Yes. Whereas consoles are a little bit more the middle ground, where yeah. it's kind of expensive. But you Yeah, for a really good gaming PC, it's like five, yeah. six grand. Yeah, exactly. And you build that shit yourself. Yeah, and then for a console, it's like six hundred dollars. So, yeah. and and you may not get the best graphics, but you don't get uh, or a flight simulator for a console. They don't have flight simulators on consoles. No, they don't. PC flight simulator is amazing. Like I watch that stuff on Twitch sometimes, and these things they're so realistic, and that shit. I would 
I would love to play that thing. The three screens. Oh you know, man, Russian it's crazy! It's yeah, crazy, yeah, man. Those yeah. no, things are crazy, but you know, from what I saw of the E3, it's like, eh, okay, whatever. You know, <laughs> to me, I'm like, because I'm not a gamer, but to somebody like you. Yeah, I, I, I it's exciting. Devoured everything, watched all kinds of things. As I said, for me, it was a little disappointing this year. Uh, but the, the, the shining light was actually Star Wars. Battle so, are you going to buy the new Xbox? Uh, not until I get a 4K TV, which won't happen for a long time. So, uh, our next Wolf Gaming thing is probably going to be a Switch. We want to get a Nintendo Switch, and then we'll probably get the new Xbox. Hmm. Just because. At six hundred dollars, I'm gonna wait. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna. Get it as soon as it comes out. I, there's no way in heck I'm buying you know. when it first comes out. But like when it's been out for probably like a year, yeah, and then it'll be like okay, we can take all of these and trade them in and see if we can get a new one. No yeah. problem. Yeah. But so like we want to get the switch because that looks cool. So what do you think? Uh, did you like E3? Do you think Sony won like they normally do? Well, if you are, you're a Sony fanboy, so fuck you. <laughs> and if you don't, you're an Xbox fanboy. Well, like you could be guy. a Nintendo fanboy, too. Um, I, in the grand scheme of things, if anybody had to won, it was Ubisoft. I actually enjoyed their press conference. they're a developer. Conference. They're not a... No, but they have a press they conference. Both, right? yeah, um, yeah. I enjoyed their press conference more than anybody else's. So somebody won when, Ubisoft. I hate it when they do the just the console-specific games. You know what oh, I mean? Well, because you're like, but I want to play that, but I would like my this, but I want to play that one. I but I don't want to buy a fuck. Yeah, yeah. Just let me play it on both. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to leave a like, hit that thumbs up button, just smash the fuck out of it, and uh, uh, subscribe. Smash the fuck out of that button too. Later. See ya. <laughs>